Well, obviously the primary elections are about opening the uh, tradition of openly and democratically choosing an electoral slate from within the membership. We don't believe that true democracy lies in uh, choosing a slate from within an executive adedo, as we have seen in the past and continues to be the case in the parties uh, that surround us. The whole ethos of Together Gibraltar is to be an inclusive platform which opens itself for participation, and those are the values of true democracy. And that is why we want to give uh, an equal chance for every member to put themselves forward and exercise their right to participation within the party and be a contender for the slate. And are you confident that enough people will put their names forward for you to have uh, a full election slate? Yes, absolutely. We already have indications from executive members who have been working very hard for a long time and have been looking forward to this moment and have a lot to give. And we also have uh, many members who have also indicated that they have intentions of standing and adding to the project. So we're not, we're not concerned about that. Um, the cutoff for membership was uh, last night, this morning. The idea is that existing members would be able to participate in the process of selecting those candidates we would like to put forward at the upcoming general election. And how will they be able to vote? What's the timeline? Uh, when, when do you announce the uh, election slate? So voting can take place by email or in person here in the offices. Uh, the timeline is uh, such that by the 12th of August we want to have collected the list of those candidates putting their names forward. Uh, by the 22nd we will be announcing who will be uh, our slate, uh, which candidates have been voted in by our membership between the periods of the 12th of August and the 21st of August. And the announcement? And the announcement will take place on the morning of the 22nd of August. If, as you said in your press conference, uh, the government does decide to press ahead with electoral reform and the slate has to increase to 15, are you confident that that would uh, that you would be able to fill those numbers as well? Of course, at the moment we are uh, preparing the ballot for 10 because we haven't had an indication that the government will be pressing ahead with their uh, parliamentary reform and we don't expect them to at the 11th hour because it would be absolutely ludicrous, especially when there hasn't been any consultation for the last four years. It would be a, a contradiction in terms to purport to uh, uh, open up democratic uh, change when you haven't been democratic about it, but that is a separate matter. If they do, we will be ready and we will adjust the ballot uh, forms and the, the number of candidates that will have to submit them that will be able to, to form a slate to 15, obviously. And how much of this process is uh, a sign that you're kind of putting yourself on an election footing, so to speak? Well, it's no secret that the elections are going to be in the next couple of months. There are rumblings that uh, we're looking at an election in October for the first time in, in my time in Parliament, certainly four years, and even those who have been in Parliament before, we're having a Parliament session in mid-August, which also gives indications that government may be wanting to wrap up their parliamentary term. So, of course, we want to prepare ourselves and prepare the, the members adequately for them to prepare to be ready for the electoral slate and campaign.